Okay, so um, we're going to talk about equivalent resistance. We'll do a sample problem first, and then we'll move on to some of the problems from the book. All right, your first problem is set up for you, and this is just sort of a dummy problem. Then we'll do the one out of the book a little bit more challenging. So we have a circuit with a 2-ohm and a 3-ohm resistor in series. What is the equivalent resistance? Okay, so we know that we just add them up, and 2 ohms plus 3 ohms equals 5 ohms. That's the equivalent resistance of the circuit. That couldn't really be any easier. Let's, let's do number of 1 on 739 in your book. Okay, so now that we've drawn the circuit, and it doesn't matter where you place these resistors, because it just tells you there, there are three resistors wired in parallel, and it gives you their, their ratings. Right, so it does, there's no, makes no difference. R1 plus R2 plus R3 is going to equal your equivalent. Okay, so um, we've, we've figured out our equivalent resistance. We get 43.65 ohms. But how many sig figs can we have here? What governs our sig figs? What rules are we using? N number of places after the decimal. And we can only go one. So our final answer would be 43.7 ohms is our equivalent resistance on this circuit. All right, so now we're going to figure out the equivalent resistance for the same two resistors, the 3 ohm and the 2 ohm resistor, but now instead of wiring them in series, we've wired them in parallel. So we can't solve directly for equivalent resistance. We can only solve for the reciprocal of equivalent resistance, and then we'll take the reciprocal of our answer. Okay. And we know that it's 1 over R1 plus 1 over R2. Okay, so we know that 1 over the equivalent resistance is equal to 1 third plus 1 half, or 5 sixths. So the equivalent resistance is equal to 6 over 5 ohms. If you give me a fraction like that, that's not good. Um, you have to give an actual number. Okay. This is the part where people are the most likely to get confused, as evidenced. So 1 over the reciprocal is equal to 5 over 6 ohms, which means, I'm sorry, the equivalent resistance is equal to 6 over 5 ohms, or 1.2 ohms. And I guess we would have to assume that that was a 2 point, these may have been 2.0 ohm resistors. Um, otherwise, it's just a 1 ohm resistance. Um, so isn't it weird that you can put a 2 and a 3 together and get a lower resistance than either of them individually. Why is that? This is, this is some of the weird stuff. So remember that those little electrons have two paths in which they can flow. Have you ever been in a crowd in a public event that splits into two lines and suddenly your line moves more easily? Suddenly you're not all packed together? That's what's happening here, is we suddenly created two pathways for those for that charge to flow. And so the charge moves much more easily. There's lower resistance because there are now two pathways. Make sense? Okay. Okay, so now we're looking at a circuit where we've wired a 4, an 8, and a 12 ohm resistor in parallel with one another, and we want to know the equivalent resistance on the circuit. And again, we're solving for the reciprocal of the sum of the reciprocals. It gets kind of weird. Okay, and there are two ways to do the math on this. You can actually find your common denominators and then add up the fractions and take the reciprocal. Um, as I mentioned to you, I just do this as a, a sum of three division problems, which gives me a straight up answer. So I got 0.4583 repeating ohms. If I take the reciprocal of that, I get 2.1818, etc. And so with one behind the decimal, the equivalent resistance on this circuit is 2.2 ohms. Now we have a circuit in which we have um, resistors both in series and in parallel. So we have to figure out the equivalent resistance of the whole circuit. And we do this by breaking it into pieces first. So we know that if we, if we look at these first two, they are in parallel with one another, but they're also in parallel with this whole loop on the circuit. So what we're going to do is first figure out the equivalent resistance of these two, which are in series. 
So this we're going to call this um, equivalent resistance loop one or something. We'll make up some name for it. So that first equivalent resistance is just equal to 4.0 ohms plus 4.0 ohms or 8.0 ohms. That's pretty easy. Okay, so now that we figured out the equivalent resistance of that back loop of the circuit, we're actually going to redraw the circuit. And we're going to redraw it with our new equivalent in there. All right, so I've redrawn the circuit, and I've replaced those two that were in series with one another with one equivalent resistance. Um, again, I like to color code them for myself, so when I replace um, a couple of resistors with their equivalent, I'll typically you know, circle my calculations in one color, and then when I redraw the circuit, write it in that color. So now I want to figure out the res equivalent resistance of the whole circuit. I now have three in parallel. So 1 over R equivalent equals... Okay, so when we go through and plug in our new values for our parallel resistors, we get an answer of 0.625. That, remember, is 1 over equivalent resistance, therefore equivalent resistance is 1 over 0.625, or a value of 1.6 ohms. We'll do some work with complex circuits tomorrow, as well as beginning to work with current and voltage levels across circuits. You will have another video to watch tonight. It will be posted by about 4.30 p.m. See you tomorrow.